See, here's the thing. Most of you will probably not watch this video all the way through. I'm not going to be showing you fancy licks, how to play, anything like that. But if you're smart, you will watch it to the end because you're the type of person that wants to enjoy playing your instrument for years and years to come and not worry about any injuries. You dig? Hi, I'm back. Everyone is guilty of this, practicing until it hurts, literally. But I'm gonna teach you how for the last 30 years I prevented myself from getting injured from practicing and overplaying guitar. Are you playing a lot more than you usually do? Are you feeling pain in your wrists or other places in your forearm or hand? With our current situation having to be under various degrees of lockdown, maybe you're practicing more than you usually do. Well, before you do serious damage to yourself, maybe it's time to rethink things. Remember, playing your instrument is supposed to be fun and bring you joy. The last thing you want is to feel pain every time you do the thing that you love. Trust me, rarely will injuries such as these improve on their own, especially if you keep doing the thing that causes the injury. I have to mention that I'm not a licensed health professional. You should consult a doctor or physiotherapist, etc. However, this is what I was shown by a health professional and I'm sharing what worked for me. If you feel more pain or your condition worsens by doing what I demonstrate here, stop and see your doctor immediately. This is serious. Stop playing the same exercise, lick or riff over and over. over and over not only puts wear and tear on your tendons and ligaments but you're also starving the muscles of oxygen more is not always better when you feel numbness or pain your body is telling you something is wrong nowadays we already are using our hands a lot we're on our computers and laptops most of us are texting throughout the day and many of you might play video games I don't but you might all of these motions that we're doing with our hands contribute to overall damage that you may potentially be doing. Take a break and let your hand hang down. Let the blood flow back into your arm. It also helps get rid of the feeling of fatigue. Speaking of fatigue, stop with the Kung Fu grip. And here is G.I. Joe with Kung Fu grip. Stop squeezing the crap out of your guitar neck like you're trying to kill a wild animal fighting for your life. A lot of you likely use too much squeezing power when you're playing single notes and chords. Some of that may be due to possibly learning a guitar first that had really high action, especially on an acoustic, with strings a half an inch or more off the fretboard. You know those kind of guitars. And because of that, you now believe that all guitars must be strangled to death to play. Get your guitar set up so that it plays as easily as possible and learn or relearn how to play with as light a touch as possible. Some good outcomes of that is that you can play for longer stretches without getting tired as quickly. You'll get less injuries and you'll be able to play faster. Yes, I said faster. Playing will become more effortless. <laughs> But depending on your level of Kung Fu grip, the hands that grip, it may take a while. You continually have to remind yourself to lighten up over and over again until it becomes the normal way to play. Stretch things out. I've had some friends that have had to stop playing for long periods of time because of injuries due to playing their instrument. I started to feel pain in my left wrist when I was in college it was due to playing and practicing a ton. I visited the sports doctor at the college I was attending and he said he would help me out but knew nothing of guitar. He told me to grab my guitar and play for him so he could see what I was doing and what was going on. 
So I'm playing there for him, and he looks at me and he goes, you mean your wrist is in this position all the time, like the whole time? I go, yeah, pretty much. And he's like, well, that is the problem. I mean, if your hand is like this and you're using your muscles like that, things are getting really tight in here. So you need to stretch things out in the opposite direction. The key is the opposite direction. If your hand's like this, what you need to do is stretch it back this way some more. He showed me some stretches and warm-ups that I'm going to show you right now. The first thing he showed me was to hold your hands out like this and rotate them. First in clockwise and then counterclockwise directions. And get your hands in different positions, as many different positions as you possibly can, he told me. And then this way, upside down like this with your palms up and move out in with your hand arms out flip them over come back in again doing clockwise and counterclockwise direction that's really good to get the blood flowing in there get things warmed up the next thing he showed me was on a tabletop to put your hands flat on the surface and to lift with your fingers as much as you can and your palms just keep lifting up over and over and then relax and then lift up and relax and lift up and relax remember the opposite direction I said so we're going this direction we're, we're, we're using our muscles and tendons to go this way as opposed to always going this way okay now for some stretching the doctor showed me that an office chair that swivels is an invaluable tool let me grab my office chair and I'll be right back with the wrist bent in both directions, this way and this way, place your hand on the office chair seat. Let's try it this way first. It's a really good stretch. And what you do is you rotate the chair around so you can go all different directions. And it feels really good when you do it. And do the same thing with your hand this direction. Now this one might hurt because remember what I said before, that's the opposite direction that your hands normally when you play. So don't overdo it. If you feel pain, stop. I believe that those stretches did more for not having any more issues ever pop up again than anything else that I ever did. Have you felt pain while playing guitar? Was it really bad? Did you have to see a professional about it? What did you do to get back to normal? Share your guitar playing woes in the comments. We sit for long periods of time nowadays. Personally, I sit when I play on a gig or practice at home. I sit when I teach. When your mom used to yell at you to sit up straight, she was onto something. By sitting straight, you're taking a lot of strain off your neck and shoulders. Not only will you get less fatigued when playing, but the strain in the neck and shoulders can also lead to pain in the arms and the hands, even numbness. Think about it. Don't fight gravity. Let gravity help you out. The more you sit up straight and less hunching over like this, you're forcing your muscles to hold everything up. If you sit up straight, it's more effortless. Position the guitar properly. Don't tuck it under your armpit like this and you're leaning over. Don't hold it parallel to your body and don't hold the guitar up with your fretting hand. Let's just test to see whether you're holding your guitar properly or not. Extend your arm, your fretting arm, with the palm up bent at the elbows like this. Then what you want to do is to place the guitar neck in that position okay now that is basically where the guitar wants to sit you need the elbow room don't pull the guitar in like this that's the worst thing you do you got no room to maneuver anything when you do this now your body can move in a more natural way along the form of the neck now you can bring your elbow in 
or bring it out a little bit if you need to, but now you have that freedom. Placement of your thumb behind the neck is important. We get the maximum amount of squeezing power with the least amount of effort. So I put my thumb pretty much there most of the time. Of course, obviously sometimes it has to creep up. Sometimes it might even come lower than that. But by doing that, I now have the maximum amount of squeezing power. Your thumb and your fingers are designed to come together. That is the motion that is the most easiest. If you got your thumb over top of the guitar like this all the time, well, you're, bring, you're bending your wrist back like this, and then you're forcing the squeezing power like this. And if you don't believe me that it's harder, try it yourself. If you, if you do this, it takes at least twice as much effort to do this than it does to do this. Maybe more than two times the amount of effort. By doing this, it helps with relaxing your hand and your wrist so that you don't do the kung fu grip thing that I mentioned earlier. Hands that hold on with a kung fu grip. And you need to just bend your wrist slightly. It shouldn't be like that and you don't want your wrist to be straight just ever so much and you want to know why? Because it helps with your fingers spreading out. If you get your wrist straight, your fingers want to group together. If you just bend your wrist a little bit, it makes them easier to spread apart. Now everybody's bodies are proportioned differently and different sizes. But these tips should make playing guitar easier. And remember, if something is causing you pain, you're doing it wrong. Stop and rethink how you're doing it and do it differently. No pain, good. Pain, bad. Take a second to like, and if you dig my content, subscribe to my channel. It really will help me reach more people. Over here are some more videos to watch. One of them is exercises to help improve your speed and accuracy. But remember, don't overdo it. Thank you to my patrons for helping make this video possible.